Hi everyone, welcome back to the Domain Podium. This is Ramesh Chuk. In this video, we will take a closer look at the transaction type identifier. Whenever I ask these kind of questions in any of the interviews, some of the candidates start giving a product specific answers. For example, there is a transaction type identifier in our product. There is a column in the database, right? Or there is a field on one of the screen, like these kind of answers they start giving. But I did not ask you about the product that you have experienced. Yes, it can be a different case if you are attending a product specific interview. For example, someone is looking for Vision Plus Expert or TCS Prime Expert or Base24, T24 Expert. Then giving product specific answer will definitely serve the purpose. But if the interviewer is asking a domain specific questions, not a product specific question, then you should also include ISO data elements in your answer. So if an interviewer is asking you to tell him one of the data element, ISO data element that is used to identify your transaction type, then your answer should be data element 003 processing code, which is used to identify transaction types like retail purchase, cash withdrawal, refund, or any other type of transactions. There are more data elements as well to understand the source of the transaction. For example, e-commerce merchant, Moto, IVR. So if you want to know more detail about it, please stay tuned to my YouTube channel and thank you so much for watching.